After dropping Game 2 in Framingham, Marlboro came back home for a deciding Game 3, looking to win their second Central Mass title in the last three years. But over the first few innings, it didn't look promising for the home team. Starter Andrew Cash, having already given up a run and a sack fly, pumps in the fastball for a strike. Coleman breaks for second. Catcher Ryan Dillon gets the ball out quick, but the throw sails into the outfield. Luke Spring can jog in from third to make it 2 nothing after one. Then in the third, Cash is in trouble again with runners on the corners, and Blanchard hits this to the second base hole. Naples can't field it cleanly. Coleman scores, and it's 3 nothing. One batter later, they'd play to run in a sack fly again, and this is a 4 nothing game after three. On the other side, Flyers starting pitcher Cody Coleman was dealing. Over the first four innings, he would strike out six, including Cash looking. Dillon also caught staring. Later, Smith is set down, and to end the fourth, he gets Cam Hunt swinging. Coleman was perfect over the first four and looked to be in total control. But in the fifth, Bobro would finally start to break through. Here, Cash draws a walk and breaks up Coleman's perfect game bid. Then it's Breton Field, who pokes a single past the diving shortstop, then Coleman's chance at a no-hitter. After a pass ball with runners in scoring position, Maples puts the ball in play. Thurber at short seems to have plenty of time, but the throw is wide right. Maples is safe. Scoring from third is Cash, and then pinch hitter Matt Gogan does his job and puts the ball in play. The sacrifice allows Breton Field to come home, and after five, it was a 4-2 game. Then in the sixth, Marlboro would draw two walks with two outs that would load the bases for Breton Field, and the Marlboro High alum would come up huge. Steve shoots a base hit to center. Hunt scores. In comes Cash sliding head first, and after being shut down for the first four innings, Marlboro ties the game at four. Coach Italian is jacked up, who could blame him? A scoreless seventh meant that we were heading for extra innings, and there each team would have to utilize its bullpen. First, Zach Ruffing would replace Cash, and Ruffing would put a runner on right away. Rivera, the runner at first, tries for second and steals the bag. And that would lead to this. Morse hits a weak ground ball back to Ruffing. Zach bobbles it, then the throw home is well off the mark. Rivera scores, and Framingham takes the lead back 5-4, going into the bottom of the eighth. But like I said before, Framingham had to dip into its bullpen as well, and let's just say it didn't go according to plan. First batter of the inning, Andrew Smith, is hit by the pitch, putting a man at first. Next up is Cam Hunt, and he draws a walk. Now there's runners at first and second. A quick hook from McDonald meant that it was up to Brandon Garcia to save the day, but that didn't happen. They would intentionally walk Cash to get to Dylan Hunt, and would you believe it, he hits Hunt with the pitch. That drives in Smith from third, and this game was tied without a swing of the bat. Then it's Brenton Field up looking to be the hero, but the pitch gets away from the catcher. Cam Hunt breaks for home, and he's safe. He's safe. What did we just watch? Marlboro scores two runs on two walks, two hit by pitches, and a pass ball to win it in the eighth. Marlboro wins 6-5, and they're the Central Mass Champions.